So the F1 cross here becomes a little big because we have to talk about all these. So we can start out like this now. Capital R, capital Y, again two genes together. Why? Because we're talking about a dihybrid cross. We need to have each gene with us for the traits that we wish to track. Capital R with small y. And then we have small r with capital Y, small r with small y. Similarly here we have capital R, capital Y, capital R, small y, small r, capital Y, small r, small y. So once we start filling, here we get capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y. Capital R with capital R, capital Y with capital Y. Similarly, capital R, capital R, capital Y, small y. Capital R, small R, capital Y, capital Y. So capital R, small R, capital Y, small Y. So in this case, the seed is going to be round in shape and yellow in color. Round yellow round yellow round yellow and here again r r y y so it's round and yellow but here it is round and green it's a new combination so again round and yellow Round and green. And again, round and yellow. Wrinkled and yellow. That's a new combination. So similarly, we can fill all of these. I'll quickly do that. So in the end, what we get wrinkled and green, which is our recessive parent. So you see, we get round and yellow, we get round and green, we get wrinkled and yellow, and we get wrinkled and green. So we get some combinations which are just like the parent, and we get some combinations which are totally near. So if you count these results, what do you get here as the phenotypic ratio? We will only talk about phenotypic ratio. So for a dihybrid cross, our phenotypic ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1, which is 9R round and yellow, 3 are round, green, other 3 are wrinkled and yellow, and the one is wrinkled and green. So we get parental combinations and we also get new combinations. So this gave us the second law of inheritance, which is the law of independent assortment. It says when inheritance of more than one pair of characters is studied simultaneously. So more than one pair of characters. The alleles responsible for each of traits. The alleles means these pairs. So alleles responsible for each of the traits are distributed independently to the gametes. So in this condition, we were getting gametes like this. However, if it was this condition, then we were getting all the possible combinations in the gametes. 
So they are distributed independently to the gametes. So thank you for watching this video and in the next video we would be talking about the concept of speciation. Thank you so much.